What's up guys, Anders here with another video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at Striker and Mystic Succession. Uh, we're going to have a separate video for Mystic, so this is the Striker Succession we're going to be taking a look at today at Test Server. So they just came out this week, you'll probably see it in a few weeks. Uh, possibly we still have to get Wizard Witch and now Lawn Succession. So uh, this is going to be a while away, maybe even a month away for live servers outside of Korea. Now this is the Striker Succession. Uh, we're just going to go right into it and go through all the skills and then show you what they look like. And I'll give you my opinions and I'll show, I'll show you some uh, PvP footage at the end as well as the PvE footage. Uh, for By the way, just so you know, for all my testing on test server, I usually have... Uh, 270 kudum or 269 kudum kind of close to that and the dp usually like 330 340 depending on uh, what i have on that character but it's usually 270 kudum or 269 kudum with around 330 dp that's what i usually test that that's kind of like where um, you should be at high end um, obviously testing above that is a little too much and testing below that is just not indicative of what the class can do usually 269 kudum um, that's where you'll see the potential of most classes. So that's why I test that. Uh, just so you know, because I had a lot of questions about what I test that. So let's get into this uh, skill. You have the succession skill, obviously. You have your shift E skill. Uh, your shift E skill is going to recover 500 HP when you use it. It's all DP plus 50 for 30 seconds. Attack speed plus 30%. All resistance plus 30% for 30 seconds. And super armor while using the skill. Uh, compared to the uh, awakening one, um, it's... Pretty similar, almost identical actually. But you also get super armor while uh, moving or sprinting. Uh, you don't have that here, so you don't you lose the movement super armor. That was kind of ridiculous anyway for the awakening uh, striker. So moving on, your first uh, passive is a sort of uh, plus fifteen percent and plus fifteen some some stuff. Uh, okay, so Google Translate tells me that this skill is minus five uh, or minus five or 15% evasion and minus 15% or minus 15 DP for five seconds on certain skills if you use a shard. Um, so it's a sort of a passive trait that it has on certain skills that will debuff your opponent as you uh, deal damage. So that's pretty decent if that's uh, actually accurate. 15 evasion and 15 DP for five seconds on certain skills. The other passive is max HP plus 40, crit rate plus 1%. Uh, not bad at all. Uh, all. HP and crit rate, that's really good. Uh, as for the first skill we see here, this is the sh uh, shift right click, forward guard, 1311 by 3, 6% accuracy rate, recovers 20 of willpower every hit, 4 second cooldown, stiffness on good hits. Um, pretty good, forward guard stiffness. So this is what it is. So shift right click. There you go. You move a little bit forward. So that's forward guard stiffness. Nice. Second scale is down right click. 1406 by three, max three hits. Two second uh, or 25 willpower. You can spam this if you want. Um, HP recovery, every good hit on a spammable skill. And floating on good three hits, knock down on a good last hit, down attack and air attack as well. So what was it again? Um, <laughs> down right click there you go pretty high modifiers for that uh, spammable skill uh, now right click adamantine it's cool down to 4 seconds it's a forward guard 12 10 by 4 100% crit rate 5% accuracy rate recover some willpower and it's a stun as well really good skill the fact that they got this for succession really nice so forward guard stun on a four second cooldown. You can also spam it, but obviously you're not gonna get the forward guard and stun. Not bad at all. Next skill is going to be shift left click. It's a five second cooldown skill, 832 by three, not super high. Uh, forward guard while using the skill though, and a stiffness, so shift left click is that. So we had shift right click, right? That was a forward guard stiffen. And now we have shift left click, which is also a uh, forward guard stiffen, although I accidentally used <laughs> down left click at the end there. Uh, so next skill is going to be down Q. Down Q is 1280 by 4, 8 second cooldown. Recover some willpower. It's all DP minus 15 for 10 seconds and a float as well. It's unprotected though. This is what it looks like. Poor little beetle there. Got caught in the crossfire. 
You can probably spam it, yeah. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool. And the next skill is down a left click. Four second cooldown, 1266 by three. All DP minus 15 for 10 seconds. An iframe while evading backwards and to float. So this skill uh, is like that. So the step back is an iframe, but the rest is unprotected. So it's uh, partial protection. It's okay. You don't really want to be using it, in my opinion, if you have other things to use, which I think you do with all this protection. Uh, next skill is left click, right click. Uh, left click, right click, 1729 by 5. 5 second cooldown. It's a really good skill in general. 1729 by 6 as well. On the last hit, it recovers 300 HP upon using the skill. Down attack, down smash, and air smash as well. So that's what it looks like. Can't use it on cooldown as far as I know. So there you go. It's unprotected, but high damage. Uh, pretty good uh, for that down smash and down attack damage. This is the Hadouken skill, right? So the eight second cooldown, 1409 by four, by five and by seven after the charging is complete. And 100% crit rate, accuracy 15%, max 10 targets, forward guard while using the skill. And it's also a stun, consume stamina while charging. This is what it looks like. You can just hold this. And it's a four guard the entire time. And then you unleash it. Does decent damage. And it's a decent range as well. Next skill is Shift Q. Really good skill. It's always been good on both Mystic and Striker. 8 second cooldown. 1507 by 5. 1507 by 6 as well during the energy explosion. 13% accuracy uh, rate. And a super armor. As well as bound. So, here it is. Not bad at all. It's your 200%, I believe, right? Yeah. 200% uh, BSR, but that's very uncommon, so you won't really be using that. Bound and Super Armor. Really nice. 8 second cooldown. This is Wolf Frenzy. 12 second cooldown. 1304 by 2 by 4 by 4. 100% crit rate. 10% accuracy rate. Iframe while moving. And stun on good hits. Uh, decent... Skill, really not, I mean, I don't see that many people use it. Uh, it's very easy to catch if you are coming out of the Frenzy in an AoE CC. You're going to get caught. You're only iframe while moving, so um, as soon as you hit, you're unprotected. Uh, 12 second cooldowns, also you're 100%, so let's just do this. Here. There you go. Let's unlock this as well. And do the 100% you guys can see what it looks like. Pretty cool. Very flashy. Very flashy. Alright, so next up we have two more skills. The Awakening skills that uh, were transferred over from Awakening. You have uh, Forward C. It's a forward guard stun on PvE. So forward guard with some decent damage. 1239 by 3. Uh, 8 second cooldown, it's also bleeding damage as well. And then you have the leg drop skill, down C, 8 second cooldown, 821 by 7, 50% crit rate on PvP, attack speed plus 10% for 10 seconds, and movement speed minus 20% for 10 seconds, so super armor as well. So this is what the forward C looks like, and down C. It still does an insane amount of damage uh, in PvP. And that's pretty much it uh, for the succession for Striker. Um, I'll have some PvP clips for you at the end here so you can kind of see what it looks like. But for the most part, it's decent. It's actually not that bad at all. Um, once we go over Mystic, uh, you'll see the difference there. Uh, it is a different kit than the Striker succession. So it is not the same as, for example, Wiz and Witcher getting the same types of succession. It's completely different, actually. And uh, you'll see it's a lot worse, I think than the striker succession so striker succession a lot of a uh, good protected damage a lot of damage in general um it felt pretty good i mean i'm not a striker player i was mostly a mystic player so um it just kind of took a little get, bit getting used to the fact that you get these pretty decent skills as well from your awakening i mean leg drop coming over is huge um in a combo you still have obviously your protected grab you have frenzy you have everything that your pre-awakened kit was giving you before uh, on top of now more damage and protection. Uh, the shifties 
okay. Maybe you're losing that uh, movement SA. Um, but it's still pretty decent. And the uh, extra damage and evasion uh, debuffs that you do as well on your certain skills are insane. As well as getting HP and crit rate as your passive. It's just good overall. I don't think um, it's going to get any nerfs whatsoever. I mean, the damage doesn't seem to be as overpowering as what I tested with Lawn Succession, in my opinion. Uh, but pretty decent, uh, to be honest. Let me know what you thought about this uh, tr Striker Succession down in the comments down below. The Mystic Succession video is going to be uh, uploaded very soon as well. And after this uh, whole thing, you're going to see a PvP clip and a PvE clip as well, showing you the PvP potential of Striker Succession, obviously coming from me. I'm not a main striker, but, you know, I try. And obviously, I told you what kind of gear I use for the PvP and PvE stuff. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, as always, if you haven't subscribed, please sub to the channel. Every sub counts as we continue to grow. If you also want to, depending on how your day is going, like or dislike the video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one.